inspirational and successful people in general is a perfect way of learning. And if their story is fascinating, convincing and even entertaining, everything we need is given. Well, talking about leadership, the biography of Sir Ernest Shackleton fulfills all these criteria. Shackleton lived around the turn from the 19th to the 20th century. Well, let's take a closer look at him. As a child, young Ernest became addicted to the ocean and the adventure of discovering the unknown. At that time, the map had one white spot that was yet undiscovered. It was the continent of Antarctica. When Shackleton ended his apprenticeship at the Navy, he got the chance to join the polar expedition of Robert Falcon Scott. That expedition was not successful in the end, but the race had started, and Shackleton became infected by that cold, mysterious continent of Antarctica. Later, he organized and led his own expeditions to the South Pole. First, the Nimrod expedition that earned him the accolade when he returned back home to England, and later, the Endurance Expedition that made him famous and even immortal because of its unbelievable course and because of the leadership decision Shackleton made and his leadership behavior. We presume you know the story of Ernest Shackleton's Endurance Expedition. If you don't, we recommend to invest some time on studying his biography or at least the endurance expedition that will help you to understand why we derive the following principles from his story. But more than that, you will profit as a leadership personality if you uh, take into account what he did and think about it and compare that with what we present you here. Studying Shackleton's biography, the literature and the films available and comparing that with our own experience from leadership training, leadership coaching and organizational development work, we derived six principles on leadership. And you might take them into consideration. First principle, develop the polarities of your personality. To model Shackleton means to Understand that to strengthen your strengths is not the right focus. It's not sufficient. You have to develop the polarities and that means you have to develop the weaknesses of your personality. Second principle, combine people with goals. Shackleton was great in selecting the right people and combining and committing them to his goals. This is so much more than developing a team spirit. Third principle, use shipwrecking as a chance. Now, the leadership stories are most time told as success stories, but failure is a part of leadership. And only if you can incorporate that and learn from that, you can use your full potential. Fourth principle, proclaim an inspiring future. Shackleton could only gather the people behind him because he sold hope. And that's what employees expect from you. Fifth principle, structure and organization ensure survival. Under the regime of permanent change in the business world, what people need to stay motivated, to stay focused and to stay optimistic is structure. And that is what a leader has to provide. The sixth principle, understand the rules of the system and use them. Now, you have to understand the official and the unofficial rules of the system to decide and to be able to decide how and if you can use them to reach your goals. And that is what Shackleton gives a great example.